What is going on guys? Happy Monday. We're working on the 200cc five speed transmission race cart build, mini shifter cart. I don't really know what to call it. I think we told you in the last video, but I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna tell you again, got some time and plate uh, for to replace this front piece that was broken here too. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, we're hoping to have the engine mounted today. We're hoping to have paint done, maybe have the axle mounted as well. Anyway, we also have some new wheels and tires from gopowersports.com. Hoosiers, bro, with the black and aluminum racing wheels. These things are nice. It's gonna be a nice cart when it's done. And I'm, I'm just happy to be doing it because this cart has lived a hard life. I probably put a hurting on it more than anybody else. So it's good to be able to bring it back, you know, do it properly. Because that's what we do, right? We do things properly. Absolutely. <laughs> So things were going good. We were making progress. I drilled all the holes in the motor mount and I've been uh, scotch padding the chassis and it's nice and dull. And then disaster. Ike's expensive tap broke inside on the first one, right? Yeah, first, on first one. First one. Very first one. So he's got a bolt extractor here. Well, not a bolt extractor. I've got a tap extractor. Oh. It's got four little pieces here that are supposed to grab the uh, little cavities on the tap. Oh. Yeah, those, those allow the metal to kind of, once once it gets cut in, it kind of falls through those little slots. Gives it space, yeah. So this is used to go reach into the slots. This, of course, is never a sure thing because uh, they, they like to break. And you push that down, then you, twist on it please work please work please work I don't think it's gonna work it's already jacked what well, it sucks it's already jacked and what is that dude Ike bought a new tap that was seven dollars so he's trucking away at that um, I have to cut this piece off of this front bumper here because it's going to be the way of the brake pedal. I'm not really too concerned about it because it's kind of beat up and bent anyway. So here is what I'm thinking for brake linkage. Uh, this pedal is going to be used for the clutch and a brake is going to be somewhere in the middle, probably closer to the gas pedal, like in a regular stick shift car. This rod is going to run across the floor and it's going to be mounted here and here inside of this larger diameter pipe. I'm going to cut two small pieces, weld one there, weld one there. Like I said, that's going to run right through it. I'm going to take the linkage off of here and attach it somehow to this rod that goes across down there, and that's going to be brakes. So we were hoping the engine would be mounted tonight, but that's not happening. So uh, that'll happen tomorrow. And I'm gonna work on more touch up and paint, pe pe paint pep, paint prep uh, with the, we got like kind of matching paint, but not really. It's a blue, whereas the frame is purple. But I mean, I figure it's better than nothing and it only needs it in a few spots. So just hit it like real quick, real quick. Yeah, I mean, like, that's not bad. It's all right. Not bad at all. So, gonna be dealing with that tomorrow. Okay. So anyway, we will see you guys then. 
Good morning. We've had our first nice day in a while, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to do some painting. Uh, gotta do some welding first, just a little bit. So we had to cut a hoop off up here uh, in order to make the brake pedal fit. So I'm gonna put some bolts in there, weld them up, grind them down, make them nice and smooth, just to fill in those holes so we don't get rain in there. I'm gonna mask off part of the cart, do some painting, run to the store, grab some grade eight hardware, come back, do more painting, more masking. You know the deal. <laughs> So I have the black for the front bumper and I have the blue touch-up paint done and I also added a couple coats of clear coat already and it makes a world of difference. You can tell the blue doesn't match the purple that well but I don't really mind. I think it looks really good. It's kind of blurple now. So I'm gonna run to the store and grab some hardware. I'm gonna come back, flip it over, paint and clear coat the underside and then start reassembling. How's it going? Uh, I'll take a steak and cheddar sandwich with a side salad please. So I just spent way more money than I should have on diamond plate. Let me show y'all what I got. These two big pieces right here. I was planning on reusing this piece right here, but it's kind of ratty and if I paint it, it's just gonna get ratty again immediately. So I figured, why the heck not? I'm just gonna ball out. Get a nice big piece of diamond plate. The big one was $50. The smaller one was $30, I think. So the plan is to take the old floorboard right here, plop it on top of the diamond plate, trace it, cut it out so we'll have a perfect fitting new diamond plate floorboard. I'm gonna use an Expo marker because I don't have a Sharpie and probably a cutoff wheel to do the cutting. Not too bad. How did I get this thing in there? We're about to get Ike's reaction. Ooh! I thought you'd... You didn't let me know that you had that in there. It's kind of in there. Bam. It's not too flashy. Dude, that's pretty darn flashy. It's flashy, but I don't think it's too flashy. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I like it. Yeah. Are you okay, bud? I, it's a lot, man. That's what she said. It's very flashy. Um, I mean, the way I see it, dude, we just get the thing together, get it running, and, and see how it looks as a complete unit. You scratched it. I did. That's horrible. It is, dude. All right, just gotta do a little bit of trimming. Just a little bit. There it is. Okay. And probably a little bit right there. Yeah, probably a little bit off of both sides. Looking good. We found out the reason it wasn't fitting is because it has to go in from underneath. Yep. 
Yep, and now it fits like a glove. I guess I'm gonna move this thing over as far as I can to, for, for the seat. All I had to do was just go up just a tad. No one will ever know. Dude, are we out of wire? I think we're out of wire. Yep. I'll be. We finally ran out of wire. All right, well, at least I got, looks like you're gonna be welding more. Uh, we're both headed out of town this weekend, so we're not gonna have an opportunity to work on this again. Um, so that's all we have for this time. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Gotta thank our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. Where is it? Got a nice steering wheel that we're waiting to put on. Well, I guess I could go ahead and put it on. That's fine. It's a big steering wheel. It is. I hope it's not too big. It's a pretty steering wheel, too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, what do you guys think of the diamond plate? I think it's a little much for my style, you know? I mean, I, I like it. I mean, like, I can appreciate it. Because, you know, it's not something you see on a go-kart, but it's just not my style. Ike, what do you think of the diamond, the, uh, diamond plate? I love it. It is a little bright. But I'm telling you, dude, over time, it's going to dole out. Sweet. Rock solid, dude. Support the channel by buying a hat, hoodie, sticker, or t-shirt at cars-cameras.com. What do you think? of the go-kart so far. The diamond plate is something else. The paint turned out uh, way better than I thought it would. It was dull as ever the other day, man, but now it, it's shiny. It's pretty darn shiny. We will see you Wednesday for an off-road Wednesday. We might do a truck Wednesday. I don't know, we're waiting on parts. We're gonna do an IRS cart. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, but like I said, we're waiting on parts. Anyway, see y'all then. Thanks for watching.